Hey guys, Dr. Luke Crate here with another satisfactory tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make an overflow ma manifold that you can use even early in the game to make your layouts compact and efficient. So what we're looking at here is the start of my Fuse Modular Frames factory. And as part of that factory, I need to make about 150 lime uh, concrete per minute. And so that takes about 450 limestone per minute, which I've already prepared in the miners that you see. And we're going to work on uh, making a concrete factory with a nice compact design here in the beautiful shadow of this waterfall in the northern forest. So join me. So we're going to make a nice compact manifold here and keep our belts off the ground so we can maximize our view of this cool flowing water. So we'll start here, use these five squares. A constructor is one square wide. So we can have them here on these five squares, five on each side facing each other. So let's get started. So first we need a splitter. We need to put this right in the middle of the square. And then we make a stack of three. And our third one we want to aim with the input coming in the side that we want. And so then you can delete the two splitters underneath. And then you have a splitter at this height. Take a look to get a little bit lower. At this height. And so then from there, why do you have it three? Okay, well then it's the right height for a lift to go down on the ground. And so if you have one of these on either side, then we can keep this very compact and keep our belts off the ground. So let's put our constructor down. We have this lined up right in the middle, so then we can line up with this perfectly. We can get it this close, but it clips a little bit. So let's go right here. It doesn't always have to be as compact as humanly possible. So you want to delete that lift and re uh, put it back in. Because if you don't, you'll have to run some really short belts. But if you do it this way, where you have the splitter and you have the constructor, you can get it to join either side automatically like this. And then it joins up and you don't need to put any extra belts on. So this is really the gist of it, uh, of this end. So then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. And now we know how far to put it away, which is right there. And then we can just put our lift in. As easy as that. So there's our first two. All right, so that's all you really need to do. And the good thing is then if you don't have the hover pack and you're not very far in the game and you're making a manifold for the first time, you have your belt off the ground and you can just go walking right here. And if you're lucky enough to have glass frame foundations, you can look right through. And if you don't, it doesn't matter because you can still walk around and make it easy, especially when you need to have walking space for when you don't have the hover pack or the jet pack. So let's go ahead and build out the rest of our factory and then we'll put on the outputs. Then all you need to do is hook up the belts in between these splitters and you'll have a nice overflow system that will bring everything in down here, split off these two constructors, send the rest overflow to here, split off the two constructors. Once those fill up, the overflow will go here, split off into two constructors once they fill up and so on. And so then you come out here and then this is the end of the line. So the benefit you get here is that you have all this space that you can walk in in between your constructors as opposed to having the belts in the way. I think it looks pretty cool too. Looks pretty good. So let's get these things colored up and then we'll work on the output. So if you really want to commit to the belt off the ground look, you can have another set of mergers on each side like this, five here, five here. But I'm gonna make this very compact. So what we're gonna do is actually put a fourth splitter or a merger on top here like this. And then we're gonna have our output come out down like this end. And we'll, I'll show you what we're doing here in a minute. So we'll put our mergers on top here. And then what we'll do, we'll just demonstrate on one of them. So if we have our mergers sitting right on top like that, 
we can put a lift on the back make it go up so here's our base height right that goes into the one we want up one two and built across like this now this makes a very compact layout on each thing and then so let's do one on this side just so we can see it on both sides here we're base one one two you can see the line come out then you have this design that is very compact and allows you to overflow the input into here well overflow and then all of the output would join back up here in the middle so let me do that for the rest of the machines and then i'll uh, see you on the flip side So what we have here is 10 constructors with a very compact design, a manifold coming down the middle, splitting off to each constructor, and then a top line of mergers gathering all the output. And we've hooked this all up, so let's hook up this last belt. And then our design is done. So let me color this up and then we'll join back up. Got to make it look good, right? You can do this at any time in the game as long as you have mergers and splitters and lifts. That's all you need. And you can really do this design with any machine. I think it looks the best with the constructors. And so this is a nice compact design, only five squares wide. And it'll help you save some space in the early game or maybe you don't have unlimited materials for foundations and, and everything else. And help you fit some compact stuff and save the big spaces for the things you really wanna make look good. So now I'm going to put the recipes on all these things, then hook up a system for power, and then we'll be good to go. So we'll copy these settings because we can paste them a little bit quicker than searching in that menu. So if you didn't know you can do this, you can copy these settings and then look at the next one and hit control V. So I have some temporary power set up here, and this is really just to help me use my hover pack, which only works over power, which... I highly recommend getting as fast as you can in the game and unlocking that. It helps building quite a bit. As you can see, you have a much better view than if you're standing on the ground. And so if you see the power inputs, which are right here on each machine, you could run power poles along the end and have them go through there and not have the clipping, uh, but you'd have to use a lot of power poles. So one thing I would recommend is getting some beams from the awesome shop along with the power uh, extra power connectors. So I'll show you a quick way to make some power. It looks pretty good and it won't clip through. So we're going to keep up with our theme of keeping that walkway open and we're going to use a couple beams to make a design where we can put our power and have it be a little bit hidden and not have wires hanging all over the place and not have a million power poles. So let's make some beams and we want it to be a little bit higher than our mergers. Let's say right here, that's 12 meters. 12 meters. And we'll put one across like this. And we'll eventually get some beam connectors on there to make it look good. And then we're gonna make one go down here all the way to 40 meters. And we can do the same setup here as we did on the other end. It just happens to work out perfectly. Oh, imagine that, it's almost like I tried it out ahead of time. Oops, a little short on that one. Let's put some beam connectors on here because it just looks better. And so this gives us a power rail that will run up above our constructors and allow us to hide our power, at least not hide it, but get it off the ground and limit the amount of power poles that we need to use. So that does require, it does require steel to use the beams. Uh, and if you don't have steel, you can't do that yet. So I just recommend putting power poles down in a traditional manner. So here's the trick. Let's use these wall outlets. And we wanna put them right over where our murders are so we can get two uh, so we can uh, power both this constructor and that constructor with one of these. We want this to be right over our mergers. 
like so. Then all you need to do is run this to each machine. Like so. And then connect it to the next one down the line. So I'll finish doing that. Be right back. Okay, so now we have our power set up. Uh, we have this beam set up here. So once you get steel, you can do this. Use the wall outlets and then have the power flow down to each machine. You won't clip the wires, and I think it actually looks pretty cool. So if you sit on the ground like this, you can barely see the wires as you go through, then you really don't see them hardly at all. Okay, so now we have our manifold set up with our very compact design. All the belts are off the ground. We have our power set up on our beams with the wall outlets. And now all we need to do is get our input for our limestone in to start creating our concrete and then hook up the power to make sure that it all runs. So now we need to hook up our limestone. It's at the right height to fit into this splitter. It's almost like we planned ahead and knew we were gonna make a YouTube video. So let's get out our belt. I'm using Mark V belts, but you can do this in Mark I belt, whatever you feel like doing. So pull it out here, and once you see the line to line up with your splitter, just move it back to so one, two. And we're gonna make our, we're gonna make our pull then come out straight like this. And if you pull it back two spots, then you can hook up your splitter like this with a nice right angle. So now we can see all our limestone is coming in. You can see, and I'll show here on the side, that all of our limestone has come through the splitters and has gone down here and it's not coming in here yet because there's no power. But you can see it's split all the way down. These lifts have limestone, they're ready to go. It's come all the way. So if you do this ahead of time and let all your stuff flow in, then all your machines will be full basically right away and it won't take quite as long for everything to split up as if you have them all turned on. So I uh, would recommend with any manifold, let it fill up before you turn everything else on. Now that we have our limestone hooked up into the start of our manifold and our limestone is spread out into all the machines, all we have to do is hook up the power, my favorite part. Voila! Compact manifold making 150 concrete per minute. You can see our outputs come across the top as they're made in a very cool coordinated manner since we turn them all at the same time. And there you go, a compact manifold that'll fit 10 constructors in a five square by five square area and have no belts on the ground. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please give me a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be glad to try to help you out. Uh, and if you like this content and wanna see more from me, please hit the subscribe button. It'll help us get more eyes on our videos and help more people find out about this channel. Until next time, I'm Dr. Luke Cray. I hope you have a satisfactory day. Bye-bye.